happened here? Well, as far as we can make out, she worked in the lab here. She's got very severe burns in her hands and on her face and when I get to her to turn over, I'm sure there'll be more in her body. Um, as far as we know, that this beaker contains whatever caused the, the death of this poor lab worker. So if you look here, see this symbol here? This, this will be very interesting in this case. I believe this will be the answer to our problem. So this victim was burned. Maybe these chemicals had something to do with it. And this symbol, it's got to mean something. Okay, get this evidence to the lab. Quickly, I would say. So, has the evidence from the crime scene arrived yet? Yes, we're just finished processing it. So what do we have? This is the sample that was found on the victim. We also found the following chemicals. Water. Hydrochloric acid. Saline solution. Sodium hydroxide. Ethanol. Bleach. And acetic acid. And we still have to look into the symbol found at the crime scene. So let me get this straight. We have to test the substance found on the body, and then we have to test all the chemicals found on the crime scene. Get back to me. So here we've cracked the case. Ah, hello, indeed. Uh, Dr. Abbott, why don't you explain, seeing as it was your work? The chemical found close to the victim was sodium hydroxide. After testing all the chemicals in the lab, we discovered the chemical used to kill the victim was a base. A strong base such as sodium hydroxide could very easily have caused the severe burns to the victim. Our lab techs tested the base and discovered that it had a pH of 12 to 14, which is a very strong base. Our lab techs will write up our reports as soon as possible and give them to you. It's a shame really. She should have known the basics.